Hey, what's up guys? It's Diana here with Entree Womanpreneur. And in this video, we're actually going to be talking about a new program that Wissia just released. And this program is actually going to allow you to edit without having to download any software. It's completely free, available on the Google Chrome App Store. So let's check it out. Coming up next. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's Diana here with Entree Womanpreneur, helping you transition your passion into the business that you love. And on this video, as I stated before in the intro, we're actually going to be getting into a new program that Wistia just released. So what are they actually doing? Well, if you don't know, if you've been sleeping under a rock or wherever you've been, everybody, whether it's an app, cell phone program, or just anything, any kind of program based anything, switching to video why because video is converting better than any other form of media has ever done before and it's not that it's a completely new concept it's just that it's now being able to be in everyone's hands it's starting to get into the point where cell phones the quality of the camera that you have on the latest iphone 6s 6s plus 5s even they're actually starting to just become just incredible video creation devices and it's kind of starting to bleed over into the photography and uh, cinematography and video market and so a lot of entrepreneurs small business big business are taking advantage of that and starting to communicate with their customers in a completely different way on this channel we actually talk about small business tips tech tips and just other program reviews just like this so if you're new here consider subscribing so in this video we're going to be looking at this program from the eyes of an entrepreneur is this something that you can use even if you've never really played around with video something that you can use to really make you look like a professional really make you look like you know everything about the ins and outs about the computer but you're doing it simply with a webcam so let's jump over to the computer let's see what it actually takes to download the program get acclimated with it and then what we can do with a video so let's check it out so once you search soapbox by wistia then it'll actually pull you up to the extensions tab where you'll find this and you'll know that it's specifically by wistia it should have their specific website and everything like that and uh, this is fairly new so this it has you know the website information like that just updated on june the 9th and you'll go ahead and click add to chrome and what will happen is you'll sign into your gmail account it'll bring you over to this page here where it will ask you are you going to be using this for business or are you going to be using this for personal so once you decide you know which one are you actually going to use it for let's say you're going to use it for business it wants to know your company name how many people are in your company what is your functional area which is just basically here you know you'll be able to see is it marketing is it training hr what kind of you know area are you going to be using it for for sales or what have you and then what's your job title most of you that'll be looking at it you're the owner operator ceo creator all of those good things for your actual business or you could be the vice president coo or cfo or whatever else if you choose that it's for personal use then you kind of don't have to go through any of that stuff you just click on get web camera permissions it will ask does it have your permission to use your camera and your microphone and then what you'll see here is they're glad to have you and let's see how this baby works and so once you click on it up here then it should be able to go ahead and activate what you're actually going to be looking at so uh, based now you can see <laughs> back here is uh, my actual softbox light I don't have it on it's just me at my desk recording uh, so all this is completely brand new I definitely don't want to use the camera that is on my laptop which is probably over here because my actual good camera is pointing this way so I don't want to use this one it looks terrible uh, but let's go ahead and click on settings and I like that I have the audio bar right there so I know if I'm peaking uh, or not which I never am but so I want to change that to ATR microphone because that's an excellent microphone is what I'm using right now but I want to switch to the Logitech C920 and already now I'm there and so let me go ahead pause this so that well let me look at you let me go ahead and pause this get the lighting set up for HD video alrighty and we're back and now there's a little bit of light you can see me we have this black not black the back window blocked out now uh, just with the extra light and so just a quick tip if you've never used a web camera before then what's going to happen is that it's trying to compensate now this is a widescreen HD 
1080p 30 frames per second if you don't know what any of that means I'll try to describe it a little later on in the video however it just lets you know that it's going to try to compensate for the the uh, light that's in the back and typically if you have light behind you it's going to make you very very dark so what you want to do is change the scene so that the light is in front of you so now I have artificial light which is softbox number one over here and softbox uh, no, like number two over there and so I have it sitting right on my face so that way you're getting a much cleaner image than what you saw before so let's jump uh, back into the actual recording so that we can see what we need to do to finish setting up soapbox so if we start recording here now uh, it'll ask me which screen do I want to record well I'm using this screen I have two screens that I use so I'm using screen number two so let's say this is my presentation, whether it's a Google Docs, um, PowerPoint presentation, or whatever the case may be. What you're seeing right here is the ability. So we had instructions here. This is Friendly Smile. This is you. This is your desktop. And then this is the two combined. So it helps to go through the instructions before you actually get recording. I was just so anxious I didn't the very first time. So up here, once you install it to Chrome, what you'll go ahead and do is click on this specific icon it'll let you pick your settings which is I want to make sure well since I can see you now or you can see me I want to make sure that when I actually pick these settings that I'm picking my specific microphone because I don't want to use the one on the um, Logitech C920 it's going to sound like I'm underwater and I don't want to use the one on my laptop because it's going to look like kind of fuzzy it's good in a pinch quick tip clean it off with like alcohol Windex whatever just some lens cleaner specifically uh, it works better if you're just trying to clean it clean it off it makes it come through a little bit clearer but I want to use these tools that I have and let's start recording so because I'm using dual screens it'll allow me to decide which one I want to use I want to pick screen number two and then from there you'll see this counter over here to count down to the video Hey everyone, it's Diana here with Passion to Business TV or Entree Woman Panor, whichever the name of my channel is. <laughs> but this is just a test recording just to see what we're looking at. So as you can see here, let's just pretend that this is a presentation and we're clicking, we're clicking, moving forward, showing you everything that there is to see. And let's stop the sharing. Okay. So here. When using the edit bar, press the space bar to pause and play. So that way I can kind of tell based if I'm looking. So right there, just that quick goofy face, <laughs> you can kind of tell that I'm looking at you, the person that's uh, watching the uh, video with me. And so based off of that, I can decide to go. So let's say about here, you need to be on the screen until about there. And I can choose what I want this section to be. Let's say I just wanted to be focused on me for a while for the course of the video. And I'm just kind of scrolling down. Let's click done. So if I wanted to drag this all the way back, I'm curious how that would work. So that's that section that's selected. Let's select done so I can actually slide it. Okay. So I can change that to me. And you're still looking at me throughout this time. Let's say about here. I'm no longer engaged with you directly. Didn't mean to do that, but I can drag this along. So let's pick this right about there. And so that section needs to be on the computer screen, for example. still on the computer still on the computer I wasn't in between so about right here let's say I wanted to switch back this one needs to continue being let's say done here let this one continue being the screen let this one start being me about here okay so let's just give this a play and see what we have Why did it stop?
Nice. All right. So let's say we're done. Where can we share this to? Obviously, that's a terrible name. Let's just call this test video because that's the bomb diggity. And let's click on the share. Uh, copy the thumbnail link to the clipboard or copy the URL only. Click share. And then that's how it works. Okay. So that's my quick review slash tutorial for Wistia's new program called Soapbox. This actual program, like I said, it doesn't cost anything to actually have it, but I encourage you to check it out, see if it's something that can work for you. Even if you're doing a screen share, you can use this for courses. You can use this to work with entrepreneurs with, if you're trying to show and create training videos or anything like that. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something. Definitely subscribe uh, or make sure that you check out the links down below if you're wanting to check this out. But as always, my friends, live with passion and I will see you on the next video.